Um, good morning, all my brothers and sisters in Christ and my targeted individual friends. Um, how are you today? I'm doing good. I slept for a couple hours last night, so it was good. Um, I'm going to be making a road trip soon. Um, I have one friend down in Georgia that I'm going to um, be visiting. He's not one of my um, new Christian friends, but I believe he's a Christian. So He's just like a friend of a friend I met a while ago and just like, I'm always up for a road trip. They call me the breeze. I keep rolling down the road. That's me. Have car, will travel. That's what I'm all about. So if anybody's interested in um, me stopping by and having a cup of coffee, um, just let me know at um, lisatattersall921 at gmail. And just personal message me. Um, but I'm, that's what I do. I go on road trips. That's me. I wasn't able to do that very much when the kids were little. Actually, I did take them out a lot every weekend. They know every um, national park in Maryland. But what I wanted to um, talk to you about this morning is that, number one, um, if you don't have any enemies, you've never stood up for anything in your life. Well, I consider in my own right a civil rights activist. I'd like to speak for people that don't have a voice. I'd like to speak for the children. There's a book I used to read to my children, and actually I just bought one last week because I loved the book. It was called The Lorax. Um, he was a little critter that... Um, was standing up for the trees because the trees were getting cut down. He says, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. So I guess I'm the Lorax. So I got a um, um, some responses, well, a lot of responses. Oh, and thank you, all my new friends. I don't feel lonely anymore. You're all really my friends. Praise God, I have Christian friends. Ah, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> but really, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart. So this guy, Jamie Foyers, um, I was on the 5G and the, and the RH negative blood, wrote, Seriously, woman? Okay, I'm RH negative, but I'm not a Christian. Please understand that, yes, 5G is dangerous. It's dangerous not just for humans, but the animals, importantly, for the fabric of life itself, DNA and water molecules, with the frequency that it's going to produce. However, us RH negs come in various traits and sizes and belief systems, and the American RH negative brigade can believe that this is the work of the devil, and you can stay wrapped up in that belief. But some of us know that we aren't from God, small g, or are one of the 144,000 or whatever the media wants you to believe. Think of a Russian wooden doll, one doll inside another. Do you understand? You're not just one doll. You're stuck at one level of understanding where you don't see that you're a doll inside another doll inside another doll. Your faith keeps you in the dark unless you break out and realize there's a much deeper level to it, that you're surrounded by it. Your faith needs to die in order for you to see the big picture. Have you the courage to step outside the bubble that your faith creates? Nope. Nope. I do have faith. And I have faith in the good Lord. And... Um, I, I responded, I'll take my chances with the Lord, and I will. No, no other, like, big explanation needed. So he wrote back, very well, but I would say to you that you should read the story of this woman and how her belief in God, little g, got her into a mess that could, that could have been avoiding a cautionary tale. Jamie. They've been trying to kill me since I was born. I'm still here, and I'm 59 years old. And maybe you don't know about Christians, but they'll lay down their life for the Lord. And it's like, bring it on. 
Why do you think the, um, the torturers haven't killed me yet? Because the Lord won't allow them to. And if they do, it's my time to go. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to die for the Lord. So, bring on the big guns. I'm ready to go. To, to it right now. Bring it on. But I, I responded back. I said, they have been trying to kill me for 59 years. I have the Lord's protection and prosecution is to be expected. I'm not afraid of death. The sooner the better. I pray that your soul finds salvation as the day is near for the glory of the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, let's pray for Jamie uh, Foyers because uh, his soul is not going to heaven. And um, I've been getting so many good responses. The Lord's working for through each and every one of you. I got some like good like referrals from people, and I got like a ton of like new subscribers. And I'm not doing it to get like a bunch of subscribers. Believe me, I'm doing it because I am the Lorax, and I speak for the people that don't have the tongues to speak. And uh, that's the only reason. It's like. I just like, I, I want to help people. And um, that's why I think I'm doing a little bit. And I, I do have quite a story. I have quite a story. And um, as we all do, as we all do, some, some people's stories are so uh, horrific. Horrific. I can't even watch them. I really can't. Because when somebody's telling me a story, I live that story in my heart. I live it in my heart. And oh, since we're like talking about RH negative, um, oh, look at my nice necklace I bought. It's um, let's see. sorry, get so close. Ah, it's um opals. And, opals and rubies and silver and this silver necklace and it had my name on it and it was only $24 so I like this one instead of the crucifix but anyway so I don't know what else um need to say oh um people with RH negative blood and I just found this out like a few months ago you need um, copper in your body. Like people with that that have Rh positive um, blood, they have um, iron running through their blood, and that's why you use like this um, cast iron skillets, which is good for them. We need to use like, and I need to get some, but I'm low on money right now. I need to get some copper pots and pans. But I did. I got these at Goodwill. This is a an old time. It's from England. Old time, it only cost two dollars. Some guy offered me like 200 for it, and I didn't take it. I should have taken it. Um, it's not worth that money. It's um, a copper mug, and then um, I have a copper teapot I bought at an antique store. I'll go get that. And this is really an old time one. This is like put over a campfire, I guess. Pretty cool. But we um, need the copper in our body. So, I guess that's all I need to say today. So, I'm going to be heading out on a road trip. I'm probably going to like travel from Delaware um, down through Virginia. Uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia area to begin with. So, if you want to be on my um, uh, travel list, just let me know. I'm not kidding. That's what I do. One, one time I drove all the way from St. Petersburg, Florida to uh, Berkeley Springs, West Virginia and like without stopping. Except to like get something to drink at the bathroom, so... But um, thank you all, each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you, and so does God. And um, 
I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. So, um, God bless you all. Um, have a great day and be the reason someone smiles today.